Hi folks, welcome to my Bit Retro Journal. This is a quick look, five minutes or less. Um, I've got this laptop here that I just picked off off of uh, FreeCycle, or it's actually a website called Everything is Free. Uh, some guy named Alex gave me a Lenovo that has Linux on it. And uh, I've actually recently been looking at um, trying to find uh, on the QL, uh, there was a... Um, a Minix um, implementation, a port back in 1990 uh, for the QL, and I've been actually looking for that. I, I have this book here, uh, Xenu, uh, which is also a uh, Unix-like um, microkernel uh, or kernel for uh, operating. It has all the code in here. But Andrew Tannenbaum actually had a, a book for uh, Minix, and and someone in 1990-91 ported the Atari version of Minix to the QL. I actually found the original author and contacted uh, him, and on, I found him on LinkedIn, and he said he doesn't have the source code anymore. He gave me the name of the person that he uh, gave it to, and I contacted that person, also found him on LinkedIn, also doesn't have it. And I even found an intermediary who's kind of a big wig. I think he works at Samba.org, one of the founders, um, and he also doesn't have it, so I'm still looking for it. But I was I was sort of asking folks on the QL forum, and they were like, well, you know, why would people want Minix on the QL when the QL already has a Unix-like operating system? And that got me to thinking, actually, uh, on the QL. That's actually not too far off, and I wanted to show you something uh, on the QL. So again, uh, and I'm going to compare it to this. So if I reboot, I'm going to hit the Alt key can't see it and that'll deactivate ice if i use f1 um, now again this is in pal mode and this is in dsc tv so you don't get the color it's supposed to be red white and black but you have three screens you have the command uh, input you have the output and then you have sort of a it's not really a log screen it's where you list your program and when you do this in tv mode It kind of overlaps, and this is kind of how I like to use it. But you have, so if I go 10 print, you'll see that the screen color changes to blue because that's a different channel. Um, however, um, and I can also do this in high res. And then um, the both uh, channels one and two are in black, whereas if I do it in low res, uh, if I list, it's in blue, and if I do a directory, so the output, uh, oops, it's in red. And so uh, let me run this little program for you. Takes a second to run. Actually, what I'm doing right now is I'm loading Toolkit 2. Uh, and then here it is. So let's look at the difference. If I do an LS, I get direct listing. If I do an LS, I get direct listing. If I do an echo, hello world, echoes. If I do an echo, You get the same thing. If I do a jobs, if I do a jobs. So uh, what did I do? Well, let me just list what I have here. Um, it's just a simple little basic program. And all I did is I, I reorganized the three windows, same size, overriding each other, making sure that everything was starting at the bottom. And then I wrote a couple of uh, uh, procedures in basic that implement LS and more as dir and, and print. But other than that, yeah, so the QL was indeed uh, mimicked after Unix, and so that's, I think, why people are saying, why are you bothering with it? Anyway, I thought that was really interesting that the comparison between the QL and a Linux system are not that far off. That's really all I have for you today. Um, I will keep uh, you apprised if I find the Minix uh, variant, but thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.